What's going on, Assassins? It's Dark Strider, and we end the Taco Tuesday trifecta with Assassin's Creed Origins. So, to begin with, we have Anubis as our normal mode god, which means that, as I always tell you, around level 40, you are able to begin these fights. Uh, if you are a level or two below and you have some great skill, you may be able to take them on, but is strongly suggested that you're at least level 40 and if you have the dlcs every time you level up so will anubis all the way up to level 55 all right now what you want to keep in mind is that he has a bunch of different attacks he was of course the first god that was released uh, way back in the day uh, what you want to do is avoid the red circle getting too close to that will harm you getting too far outside that yellow circle will reset the entire fight. He will also have at around 25, 50, and 75% health, he will release his minions. Uh, they will be jackals around the third round, around 25% of his health. But what you want to keep in mind is that when you defeat them, they will die. They'll turn into a small circle of shadow and flame which you want to avoid because it will harm you a lot. That's why he puts up those bone cages. Those bone cages are basically to trap you inside so that that way you take more damage trying to get out than you would if you were already outside. You need to defeat these things because they are tethered to his health as well. Besides that, he also has a wall of shadow and flame that he throws, and of course the on-fire jackals that he will send your way. Just make sure that you avoid them all, and you aim for that bubble on his chest while circling around the arena so that you could defeat him. He's not too bad, not too hard. Once you defeat him, you will gain 1000 XP, 250 drachma, and a tier 1 god item. All right. Being that I've already defeated him, I get another 1,000 XP, which you will also get have you defeat him again. And collectively, if we defeat 10,000 gods as a community and you are part of Ubisoft Connect, you can go to Ubisoft Connect and actually claim a Tier 3 god item. It's really not that hard. We've actually been collecting them left and right. We've been fairly consistent every week, so I don't see why you wouldn't have any problem collecting it just make sure you at least defeat one god so moving on we have Sekhmet as our hard mode god uh, the same rules apply for her the only thing is that she will be three levels higher than your highest level so I'm level 55 she'll be level 58 and as will her minions if I was level 40 she'd be level 43 as would her minions and of course she's a little bit tougher she has a pair of fireballs that she'll throw a circle that will fill in with shadow and flame just like uh, Anubis and then she also has a fire beam that comes off the top of her head and it'll split off into two later on in the battle so just be careful for that now as far as gear what you want to do is get anything that has damage over time or uh, what I have is health on hit health on crit all right uh, what will happen is my melee weapons as I attack them I will regain health just for attacking them or if I'm aiming at uh, segment my arrows once they connect they will give me health if you don't have anything like that, like I said, damage over time is important. DOT weapons are like bleeding on hit or poison on hit or crit. What they'll do is they'll sap her life little by little after the arrow connects. So keep that in mind. Anyway, after defeating her, you'll get another 1000 XP, 250 drachma, and a tier 2 god item. Being that I've completed this again and I have all the items, I get another 1,000 XP. Really, there should be more because it is a hard mode god, which I think is kind of silly. Anyway, in every major area, you will find the Nomad's Bazaar, which is where Retta, a thousand years prior to the events of Valhalla, hangs out. He has carbon crystals for sale. I tell you guys not to buy them. There are plenty of them all around. They help upgrade your gear later on as you get higher and higher gear. He also sells Hecka Chess, which is a way of gambling. Legendaries are better in this game than epics are, and you have a chance of getting a legendary or epic item. And of course, legendaries, you could even get duplicate items, which you could sell back to him anyway. 
Uh, at around 8 p.m. Eastern every night, he will give you a brand new daily quest to complete. This one is actually going to be easy, gather materials, because I've done this like a gabillion times. I already have all the materials necessary, so I'm just going to give it right to him right now. Otherwise, you'd have to go out and hunt for them. He gave me 1,500 XP, and then he gave me an epic item, which, again, epic items here are not as useful, so I'll sell it off. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Yeah, yeah.